Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Chords. And this is actually several clips put together of what I did today. And I wanted to talk to you about what I am working on, and also I had some questions for you as well. So, I have been asked to do a lot of walkthroughs. As you can see, I'm doing some research right now in Soul A. And also, uh, later you'll see I'm doing some research in Soul, um, not Soul B, but um, Vokes, which you'll see didn't go uh, the way that I originally planned. So a lot of the zones that I was asked to do really don't give me the ability to do walkthroughs because of the fact that they are areas that are... Uh, that have C and Viz to rogues, or they have traps that will break rogue, hide, sneak, or they'll break bard um, illusion, or uh, their ability to keep their faction, things along those lines. So here is my idea, and I wanted to ask you before I did it, because I felt that if I didn't ask then I would be doing it incorrectly. There are several zones that I can do without any uh, changes. I can do Guck, uh, Lower Guck. I can do Soul A. I can do other zones that I can't think of at the moment. I believe Droga, Nurga, uh, Dalnir, those kind of things without any problem. The problem comes with things like Howling Stones or um Chardock or any of those zones where C and Viz or Bard Faction doesn't work. Even Velks, I can walk through most of Velks with the Loot of the Howler plus the other um plus the faction modif uh, modifier that we have as bards. But even with that, the traps and the zones will remove the illusion. They will then get you killed because my faction only fixes from um, uh, ready to attack to threateningly. Put on the illusion and that changes. So those are the kind of things that I'm going to have to think about coming up. So... The other thing I can do is just go ahead and do all of them on uh, EverQuest Live where nothing really has changed. So it shouldn't really be a problem so much, I would think. Now, I'm not, not guaranteeing that. I just feel that it would, um, it would allow me to do those zones mainly because of the fact that I have level 90s in, uh, on EverQuest Live. Also 105, uh, also have a bard and a uh, rogue that would be able to handle those zones better because of the fact that the AAs that you get modify your, your hide snake so I maybe would not be able to get seen, those kind of things. But I don't want to do that without saying to you guys, hey, this is something that I'm thinking about doing because it's not really true to Project 1999. And uh, I just, I wanted kind of your guys' approval before I did something like that. Because it is not Project 1999. But I am showing you zones that are in Project 1999 that have not changed since they came out. Um, Velks hasn't changed since it came out. I could also do a walkthrough of Sleeper's Tomb, uh, Vishing Peaks those kind of zones without any issue. So those are the kind of things I definitely wanted to ask before I did. And um, just let me know what you guys think. Is that something that you would want me to do? The other thing that I've been thinking about doing is whenever I started the game with chords, I started doing daily vlogs of what happened that day, what level did I get, um, what complications I had, who did I meet? And that is the kind of thing that I wanted to definitely start doing again. But I don't know if I should only do it on chords 
Or should I play any character and talk like that? Here's that trap, by the way. You'll see that at first they don't really do anything. Then you hear it, and then you're dead. <laughs> so, yeah, it was... Um, <laughs> the other thing is, by the way, this right here, this is a level 46 bard in Velk's killing with, I believe there's a level 60 or 50 plus, uh, 55 plus shaman in the group. Just, just letting you guys know, this is a thing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been thinking about doing daily vlogs again about the game, things that I've been seeing, especially since they've been changing, that kind of thing. So anyway, guys, I, I wanted to talk about that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is I'm in Second Sons now on Chords. You may have been seeing me in game on uh, in a guild called Mana Battering, which is a guild that I created for myself because I really didn't want to be a part of any specific um, guild. I wanted to have my own so I could just relax. And whenever I was um, just hanging out, I would go to Druid Rings and ask, uh, how is your mana today? And then feed people mana while they were waiting or while they were trying to get ready to do ne their next port, that kind of thing. So I did transfer that guild over to another character uh, with a friend. I was able to put it onto another account. And so I ended up joining Second Sons with Chords because I felt that was more of the kind of flow that he was going with. Something that isn't a hardcore raiding guild, but they're, they are raiding. And if I want to raid, I can. If I don't, I really don't have to. That kind of thing. So I, I just wanted to say that because it's going to lead into the next segment where we ended up killing uh, Fadewar for a guild member. And... I did this fight the uh, day before with our guild, and we did not take him down. Um, it's you gotta understand that when you have a guild like this, there are a lot of things that you gotta take into account. Um, I mean, again, I'm a 46 bard who is in the main tank group, only doing resist songs. So um, the fact that um, I died means that there were probably other people that died just because of their level or because of the fact that even with my two songs and group mana resist, uh, you had the, um, I had less than 220, uh, resists. So it's, it's one of those kind of things where with the guild, we want to include everyone we can, but because of that, you, we may not be able to always take on the mobs that we're trying to go after. That said, we did go ahead and take them down the next day. And you can see there the Victor standing next to the corpse. Um, and he was able to actually get his um, Nature Scimitar or whatever it's called. Nature Walker Scimitar uh, that day because he already did the Venral Sather Remain skill. All right, everybody, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you enjoyed this is Cypher Deck. Peace out.